Over the weekend, I did what they called a artist meetup. I did an artist meetup here in Atlanta. And during that time, I met some pretty dope people. It was for photographers, models, creatives, um, pretty much similar to a photo walk. During that time, I brought my Pentax 6.7, I brought my Fujifilm 50R, and I shot around with it. But also with the Fuji, I mean with the Pentax, I used Fuji Pro 400. However, I pushed it to stop, so it's at 1600. So I took a chance shooting that. Um, that was a bit of a challenge. We're gonna talk about that also. But before we get into that, I wanna talk to the other guys that were here so they can kind of help explain the importance of networking and how the benefits are and why you should really just get out the house. And Cash is a photographer. He's a really dope photographer, but he also is a film photographer. So he shot with the, what? Mamiya RZ67, we shot Portrait 400 though. Um, I don't know, outside was definitely a different experience for, from being inside. Being there in that event mixed with all the people and the creatives, there was nothing but creative juices flowing and being in an environment like that really gets you out of your comfort zone as well as I don't know, it forces you to step your game up in a sense. That boy was getting into it. I mean, you have to, like, you have to be eager to do it. Like, um, and you have to be eager to meet people. Like, I'm, I'm not big on going out. I like to stay indoors, but like, indoors is not gonna get me where I wanna be. It was just in the streets last week. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely a challenge, but it helps when you have like people around you that do the same thing or have an idea of it to kind of bounce ideas. And Zombie. Oh yes, I'll introduce myself since my name is difficult. My name is Zombie Mola. Um, I am a plus size, mid size influencer, uh, a YouTuber and a makeup artist. Um, and here at Exposure Heights, I am the social media manager. Um, for the page or for the company. So making sure that people see our content, making sure that, you know, I want, especially for the community page, I want people to be able to be seen by not just us, but by everybody. So my goal is just to make sure that I'm able to connect people worldwide, eventually. Um, and from the Exposure Heights uh, artist meetup that we had with Anari, I was able to meet some really amazing people. Um, I kind of got in front of the camera, but not yet, because mm. I feel like I'm still trying to learn how it, it feels to be a model. Especially She's shy. <laughs> as a plus size model, it's a little bit difficult, you know, when you see everybody else just like snapping, 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 and the excitement, and it's very cool, and it's like inspiring. But um, yeah, networking is really important. As a creative, as a YouTuber, it's really hard to, feel comfortable being able to blog and blog and take your pictures and things, but having the community around you that's already used to it, it's like, oh yeah, we wanna see what your content is. We have two individuals who just told you the importance of networking. So it's not just me, but I am glad I came to the event this past weekend. And I had a really good time. I've been looking for models to shoot, um, had a model, they had something to come up, they couldn't come, and ended up realizing that, hey, I can go to this event, meet people, meet models, still shoot, test out some film. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up meeting people who already do this, like way more often than me, and it just worked out. So you never know who you're gonna meet when you get outside the house. Still, get out, network, talk. You're not gonna learn anything just by sitting in the house on the internet. You gotta, you gotta go out and put your hands on it. So don't be afraid to talk to somebody and bounce ideas back and forth with each other because I had this conversation, yeah. Because I had this conversation with them on how, how I should do this vlog of shooting the film and pushing it two stops and also networking the importance of it. So yeah, whenever I see y'all again, we're just gonna chop it back up inside of the studio. It's not a studio, it's my house. It's my apartment, working on the house. Flesh bound, flesh the stale bound. money
money from the mattress, bought a fresh pound Leather on the steering wheel, it got my palm chilly Short necklace with a long willy, calm really And it ain't even about the fame, it's about the bread Lost the intern, shorty, take me to the boss Know they tried to count me out, but couldn't count high enough I ain't gotta hear the album, listen to them lie enough Bad little baby fed by the cornbread I don't need designer, I wear my own thread Take it from the label, put it in the homestead I don't borrow little I loan bread I do it for the underground that ain't promoted Crumble up the cookies, got me coughing like the COVID Go straight from Saudi to Audi, coming from Germany I ain't gotta speak when I enter, the winners heard of me Feeling like the summer beach side in the winter With my lords throwing east side out the sprinter Used to borrow mama's whip, I had to drop some gas in it Use my own and now I got it dropping Then it sliding through Savannah, country grammar in the speakers Learned a lot from Nana, had no manners for the teachers Keep my energy away from scammers in the reaches Cause I always been a player, you just chant it from the bleachers Hood legend like the wings with the lemon pepper My alkaline living, got a Niji living better And every time she see me, she would eat me if I let her Catch me somewhere out in Fiji for you see me in a sweater Busy buying businesses, I got no business with you bums Flipping, flexing, fitness, stacking digits is you dumb Told ya I ain't tripping, got it handled like a briefcase Cheapskate, looking like the winner of the sweepstakes, baby I'm a cheapskate, looking like the winner of the sweepstakes, baby So I really hope you guys enjoyed that I really wanted Love. to go over the details of why networking this is important Because if you're kind of just staying in your own little circle, which is just you you're kind of hindering yourself and hearing people's perspectives or different ideas, you know, you can learn more and you may be learning something that you never even think you would need to know or something that you thought you knew and you realize that, oh, that makes a lot more sense. So it's nice to be able to be in an environment where everybody's a creative or everybody's doing somewhat the same thing you do because you get to see it from a different perspective. So I'm excited and glad that I went to Exposure to Heights event. And I don't want you guys to think that this is like advertisement for them or anything. It's really just me doing this on my own because like I said, I had a shoot plan that day and ended up not happening. And then this was going on. I was like, okay, well I'll go to this and ended up meeting really, really cool people learning stuff realizing that they have more events with more creatives and that they even have a little editing session that they have every week so it's like okay i can just kick it with these people because i don't know anybody here in atlanta other than a few people that i do know so it's not like i'm just like popular or like know everybody because i don't and i definitely don't know everything so yeah also if you haven't subscribed what are you doing go ahead and do that right now i really appreciate it and go ahead and like this video because you're probably about what i don't know seven minutes in yeah it's a little it's a little late in the video but i really appreciate it um also pushing fujifilm 400 pro pro 400 h that was my first time pushing film i didn't know how it was gonna come out no that's my second time but however this is my actual first time with me developing it and pushing it so that was really different for me um some of them came out a little bit underexposed and to my liking i'd rather have been like very bright but obviously that's something i did wrong on my end but for the most part i really enjoyed these pictures um it's hard for me to pick out a favorite one um i'm just gonna go with this one right here and you guys let me know your favorite also if you have pushed film before what are tips and tricks that you do because everybody can learn here and at the end of the day just have fun with what you're doing get out the house and enjoy it and i'll probably be pushing film again i just don't necessarily want to unless i have to that's not one of those things oh i just want to randomly push film no that's not the purpose of pushing film you only push film when you have to or unless it's a certain creative style that you want for my sake i think i'll only push it one stop next time but I don't know, it just depends on what kind of situation I'm in. If that's all I got, yeah, I'm going to push it. But anyway, I don't want to talk you guys head off. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. What are your tips and tricks for pushing film? What are your tips for networking? How do you network? I mean, let's all have a discussion under this comment section right here. And I will see you guys later.